y'all probably think i'm like the biggest bitch ever from that last video but it's it's fine like you're not really wrong that chick i, I don't actually think she was homeless and i know for a fact she wasn't actually mentally unstable because when kev and i went outside to see what was good she was like okay it was the funniest shit actually because like we got outside and I guess she didn't realize she was talking to a friend i didn't realize there was a friend there when we were inside but she had a friend right so she's talking to the friend and then like we're like next to her unlocking his bike but she didn't realize we'd come outside if this makes any sense so she's like looking in the window like yo yo where's where'd she go i'm like she's really talking about me like who is this bitch and then like i finally get up to her we make eye contact and it's like she saw a ghost like i think she was she thought i was someone else maybe or she didn't want that problem when she saw these hands not not actually but <laughs> but yeah so miss i don't give a fuck what your name is who commented talking about me coming for people who are mentally disabled and trying to fight homeless people like you got me all the way fucked up but you're irrelevant so anywho i want to tell you guys about my day today was a great day i mean the last few days have been kind of sluggish i when i tell you like if i don't have somewhere to be like i turn into like nothingness i'm wearing lip gloss and everything i want to eat this beef patty so bad though <laughs> and remove the gloss real quick mm. the convenience store by my house these beef patties are lit um what was i even saying oh my day my day my day was lit so this morning i had an audition I, d I really don't think I got it. I don't know. I don't know. It was all based off of like facial expressions. And I make great facial expressions. I just don't know if I was like the type that they were looking for. If you know anything about typecasting, it's just like, you know, if you have a nerdy look, you're usually cast as a nerd. People actually call that, um, I forget, pigeonholing. Like if, you, if you're if you stuck playing like the same role all your life, it's because you have a type, you know? And in order to break out of that, you have to, have to change your look, change your, change your agent. But it's more based around like how you look, how you present, how you act. So like, I usually get like club roles, like bad bitch scenario things, or like pretty girl roles. Um, sometimes model type, but I'm like a little short for that. It depends on like what media it's on. But where was I going with this? Yes, yeah, I don't know if I was the right type of person that they were looking for for this role. Sorry, I'm probably choosing you. Um. So yeah. It was for State Farm. I don't know how it went. Pray for me. Oh yeah, I also joined a photography class, so I'm learning how to like properly operate a DSLR. I'm sorry if you like find this eating thing gross. We can call this a mukbang if you want. Mukbang, mukbang, whatever. An eating show. I'm eating and I'm talking, y'all. I have to go pick up a check from one of my agencies tomorrow, so that's always great. I just wanted to come in and say hey. I just bought some weed. This is actually the box for my hair but it's so not bait that like you know it's perfect for keeping my stash it smells so good i'm gonna break it up now i just want to hang out like i literally just want to chill um we can go out and smoke together if y'all would like um i think it was miss breezy who wanted more smoking videos the setting is more chill now and there's like a canopy so i can smoke outside and like you know if, even if it's raining i love when it's raining because of like the setup it's not like bougie or anything by any means but it's just nice and calming oh, it was also a really cool park that i want to take you guys to like just up the street oh my god there's so many things that we need to like catch up on like kev let me borrow his um penny board so like i'm finally like i'm getting used to that board i used to have like a couple regular skateboards but i couldn't do tricks so it kind of got like annoying having them they just would collect dust because like if you don't do tricks on them they're not for transportation well for me anyway like i don't know the sidewalks here are just too rough so i wasn't using my old skateboards but now i am using a penny board which is lit and it glows in the dark which is so cute but i think personally like penny boards are a little risk like it's a little bit sketch on sidewalks and whatnot so i want to get a nickel board there they have like this blackout one that's just black on black the bearings are black fucking trucks are black the wheels are black the deck is black i need it but that's later in life um where's my grinder i miss you guys um my lovely fan supporter homie 
Jordan had like brought up the idea of me talking about my, my life, my family life, or my, or do a tutorial. I would like to talk about my family life because like my makeup skills are not that great. Um, so yeah, I won't say the next video for sure will be that, but like I'm preparing myself to like, you know, get on camera and be all vulnerable again. So if you could leave me questions regarding like my life, my home life, my family, that would be great. So I have like some guidance, you know, if you want to know about a specific scar, how I got it, I'll tell that story. But just like, let me know what you're interested in. I don't want to just like start spilling the beans because there's a lot of people watching my videos who I don't necessarily want watching my videos. Um, that's not to say like the people in real life that I address, like I, it's fine. If we're cool in real life and you watch my videos, I don't care what you know about me. Like it's, it's out there for the world to, to see essentially. But there's some people that I'm just like, <laughs> Especially people I've like dated, gone out with, like they find out I have a channel and they don't stop watching it, like it's not weird or anything. Um, that's fine. I don't care. But I don't yeah, I don't mind letting people know stuff, but I don't wanna just throw it out there. I want there to be like a reason I'm talking about what's what's going on. Um also a trend that's been kinda happening lately is people have been like sending me like questions, like for, asking for my advice so if you want me to like give you my advice based on my personal experiences based on what i know um either leave a comment or send me an email um i will be reading the like the scenario the situation your question in my video that i do all this in so yeah i'm going to not use your name unless we discuss otherwise so if you want me to use your name in it and you don't care then say silver you know i don't care if you use my name go for it but if you don't say that then i'm just gonna assume that we need to keep confidentiality uh, confidentiality and we'll do that these guys are nice but their counts are whack finally trying to quit cigarettes i'm always trying to quit cigarettes so pray for me y'all Hey. Um, but yeah, in this video, I just want to have fun. So yeah, this is like the part of the video with like no actual point. if you can hear baby in the background i it's not my baby but yeah there is a child that lives here so don't let that bother you that shit is spicy huh huh i have a video in mind y'all will probably not even like care for it but like i just want to <laughs> i want to show y'all the struggle like your your girl can't dance okay your girl cannot dance who else is obsessed with thin Oreos? I just want to know. I just want these things are like crack. They're like crack. This is the second, the, the second fucking package that I've murked. You want proof? This is empty. Like, um, this is about to, she's about to join him. Oh my God. It's a problem, save me. How my skin hasn't broken out yet? I don't know, but. I ain't questioning nothing. I'm grateful. Where you been or where you going? But I know I won't be home and you'll be on your own. Who's gonna walk you through the dark side of the morning? Oh, the makeup on my arms. I need to pause the music. The song is not going well anyway. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do you see my arms? <laughs> Do you see spots? Me either. Okay, one sec. Now, this was like. I want to say like last month, um, when I went to go meet with Platino, the Platino group, um, that was in my snaps, that was in like a vlog, um, my background agent had suggested that I get this product, I, this is not a good angle, I'm sorry, better, eh, whatever, my background agent had suggested that I get, um, Derma blend to cover my spots, but after searching and searching and searching Sephora, Shopper's Drug Mart, all that, 
I found out that they don't have my skin tone, which is unfortunate because that looks like a dope ass product. Dermablend, what's good? Like, can you please like cater to us melanated honeys out here? Cause um, <laughs> your shit looks dope, but <laughs> it's fine, it's cool whatever but yeah no so i ended up asking like this beautiful 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 guy who was working at the makeup everything's makeup related in sephora but like he was like one of the artists like doing makeup wasn't dressed like a regular employee or whatever i don't besides the point he helped me find this product by makeup forever it's fucking 40 dollars for this tiny tiny tube but when i tell you i all i did was like put I, I kind of use a generous amount. Next time I have to apply it, I'll show you. But I just like fucking rub this shit in onto my arms. Not even that much. Like I just squirted it on my arm, rubbed it in with my hand, and I don't. My spots are gone, and it's waterproof. It's called the Full Coverage um, Extreme Camouflage Cream, and I believe this is the shade 18. What shade is this? This is a problem. I need to know for next time. This is a problem whatever well this it matches my exact skin tone he, he was amazing for testing it on me i got this fucking obsessed with it like i it's been sitting okay because i got this for the platino model management meeting but then like it was kind of like a rainy day so i finessed it and i just wore long sleeves so no one were, no one was the wiser so this was just like sitting there and i'm like do i want to return it nah it might come in handy what was i thinking like pride like fucking Canada Day like I'm sorry like I'm done with like not liking my skin anymore because like it's no longer an issue now it's kind of like you can kind of see some spots through it it's been a long day but like when I tell you guys I wore all black you there, there's no makeup like there's no makeup rubbing off on my clothes nothing I was sweating like it's waterproof like I'm just I'm gonna have to scrub it off in the shower tonight, but like this is the best makeup, the best thing ever for like covering imperfections on your skin. I'm gonna see if I can mix it with lotion. Let me get a close up. That's what it is. I'm gonna try to mix it with lotion and see if it like, you know, if I can stretch out the use like a sort of beauty cream type thing. I don't know if that's gonna affect like the the non-transferableness but yo like I mean I think I used quite a bit and I didn't even put a dent in it so like I'm more than obsessed with this product like more than obsessed I'm never like I need to talk about some shorts now like I need to show my legs off because like this is crazy like it took I want to say maybe like 15 minutes to dry I was like afraid to kind of like touch anything like I didn't want to touch my outfit not, none of that but like, I found myself like just halfway through the day just doing me and then like I stopped myself and I'm like, oh shit, like check your clothes, bitch. You might have makeup everywhere. Bitch, there's no makeup anywhere. Like, mind you, I put on this shirt before I put the shit on my arms. Like, I recommend that. Just put it like on the spots that are showing like after you're dressed. But like, you guys... Like, maybe you can see a little bit now, but, like, I definitely feel comfortable going out like this. Like, there's no, like, nobody's skin is, like, perfect, 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 right? Like, so, I just, I feel like a normal person. I think you can kind of see spots coming through. I don't know. From, like, the way I see it, I don't see anything wrong with my skin, so. Major, major improvement. Like, I'm so happy. So, if you have, like, skin that you don't like or you're not happy with, this is this is my bitch this is my bitch but yeah i have to reply to this message once okay, i'm gonna try if i were a boy my voice is like in no way prepared for this but we're gonna try we're just gonna try oh shit it starts so quickly if i were a boy even just for a day I'd roll out of bed in the morning and throw on what I wanted and go. So flat, drink beer with the guys and chase after girls. Oh, I hate my voice right now. 
I could deal with who I wanted And I never get confronted for it Cause they stick up for me If I were a boy We're not, we're not doing that Maybe acapella. Let me go to that, let me go to that place with good acoustics. One sec. Okay. You may hear my roomies in the back, but it is what it is. No big deal. Oh, so Vario actually suggested I do a couple Beyonce songs. There's a another story for another day I might cough like a bitch um because I am one now it's so windy y'all aren't judging right like I could do lookbooks back here I think let me see There's no way I'm smoking this whole thing. I, this will like, this is like three sessions for me. Like I'll come up top, 
I'll come outside and walk three times before this is done. So, I'll make this one count. We can go inside. That's the best French inhale you're gonna get today. Sorry, guys. Sorry, kids. My eyes are glazed. I'm so. Are my eyes glossier than they were before? Anyway, I'm, I'm done with this video. I'm making my food.